Yeah, I, I'd say I definitely struggle with empathy. It was um, one of those things, you know, I feel like everybody's moms, they have good moms, <laughs> uh, constantly tell them things like, you need to work on this. Um, and empathy was uh, kind of the thing that uh, my mom told me I needed to work on. Uh, and, I'm st and I'm still trying to work on it today. Um, but it's uh, one of those things I think I have to get conscious about to go out of my way to try to help others and put myself in their shoes. It's one of those things that it's really easy for me to be empathetic while, when I'm with somebody else, you know, face to face. I think that's probably one of the reasons why, uh, you know, Twitter is so rough and social media is, you, you, you know, you have the computer interaction. I mean, nobody cares about being empathetic to somebody on the, you know, uh, at least the psychopaths don't care about being empathetic to somebody on the other side of, uh, you know, just a IP address, you know. Uh, so I think face to being face to face with people will kind of help at least put the focus on the empathy. I don't know. That's that's what I've been trying to work on is actually getting the FaceTime so I can feel <laughs> can feel enthused to help. Not exactly. I think that I can be pretty naturally empathetic, but I don't always know when I'm going to cross a line. That part's harder for me. I don't know where people's specific landmines are, and I would rather avoid them unless I have a good reason not to. So yeah, I'm generally horrified to cause anybody pain or distress, but I do tend to do it <laughs> just because I'm not like the most thoughtful with the way that I word things sometimes or you know but I'm pretty good at the damage control as well I think I'm good at conveying like oh I didn't mean to hurt you and I feel for you and how can we how can we resolve that what's like the the next step for like closing the gap between us and I think that I think I can be a pretty good listener um it's a little a lot of it is just like I don't understand emotions and this is so fascinating to me like I'm happy to be here and absorb what I can, and for whatever for whatever reason, people find that to be comforting. I don't struggle with empathy. Well, I struggle with the quantity of empathy, right? So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, empathy is um, sort of being able to relate to someone uh, by going through your experiences and essentially finding similarities with what the other person is going through. And I feel like for me, it's really easy for me to be empathetic when I have had it, but it's really hard for me to fake uh, empathy um, because it's it's just, I I don't know, I just become like a bumbling buffoon. And so then I have to resort to like uh, half-assed sympathy, which is just like, oh, I acknowledge that you're feeling sad, come here. But it's a very surface level connection, I'll say. And so part of my sort of journey with learning how to people was sort of putting myself through a lot of the experiences that uh, people had already gone through so that I could begin to uh, empathize with people more and so that I wasn't you know <laughs> such a fucking weirdo you know uh, no not at all really um, I'm actually pretty easy to put myself in other people's shoes and see what might be motivating them to feel a certain way or act a certain way uh, that's not something I struggle with at all I feel like when I meet someone, I kind of like study them and try to figure out how they work and whatnot. So then I can. So you still get there logically. I guess so, a little bit. Focus. Yeah, I definitely struggle with focus. And you can see that in a lot of different areas, right down to the fact that like on my YouTube channel, I'll do an OP related video and then I'll do a video where I'm just kind of talking about certain insecurities of mine or I will do one of those fashionable MBTI parodies. Um, and yeah, I don't, I just don't want to focus too much. I like to maintain some kind of like thematic cohesion, but that's as far as I'm willing to let it go. Uh, and then and like my day to day actual focusing on things that I'm doing. Um, I yeah, for the most part, I do have a pretty scattered attention. I jump from thing to thing. Every so often I'll become like obsessive about something. Like I have to finish a project. I have to like get this done once and for all. But it's always with the project and it's never possible 
to be that way. So sometimes, I, sometimes it's I'll, I work from home, so I will fall to the distractions of if I put on a particularly interesting video or something, not just listening and watching with one eye or whatever. And then I'll end up working an extra two hours that day that I didn't need to. Not the best. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I definitely do. Actually, <laughs> hell, it's hard enough for me to get started on something because I can't focus enough. I start doing something and I feel totally committed to it only to have another idea come in completely just I, I i love the idea of just starting over fresh you know maybe i wasn't looking at this the right way when i started this let me throw the baby out with the bathwater type thing to where i just want a complete reset and i'm thinking about this with projects and with people too it's um sometimes you know i want to like build a relationship with somebody and then once i feel like i've figured them out you know psycho Pathically, I uh, get bored and I want to move on to something else. So focus is uh, one of those things that uh, it's going to take time for me to build that skill up. Hopefully, hopefully I do it someday. Hey guys, it's Joshua and Austin. And thank you guys so much for watching this hopefully awesome piece of content. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. And we cannot wait to see you guys on the next video. Take care.